so tell us about the multi-specialty clinic. Yeah. What services are available at the multi-specialty clinic? Well, the multi-specialty clinic is designed to really take care of the whole person. So in that, we have physicians, and we have some podiatrists, and we have counselors for people that need education about drugs they're taking. We don't dispense drugs, we don't compound drugs, but we have an education system there. And then we also have clinical psychologists, and we have those who are specialized in osteopathic manipulative medicine. So there are a number of specialties right within the multi-specialty clinic, and it's kind of like one-stop shopping. You know, you might see a general physician who recommends you to see a podiatrist, and the podiatrist may look and say, you know, I think you need to have some, some manipulation on these muscles. And so we try to be a service for many patients. Can you tell us about the hours of operation of the multi-specialty clinic? Oh, I'd be happy to. I know they're open Monday through Friday from 8 until noon and then from noon to 5. And then on Saturdays, they're open from 8 till noon. And that's for both family medicine and OMM. But the services really are Monday through Friday for most of services in podiatry and clinical psychology and certainly the pharmacy. Like most medical, most medical exactly. practices are open Monday through Friday. It's pretty yeah. much the same thing. And how can somebody uh, schedule an appointment? Well, they can either go online or they can call over to the clinic and a call comes in and we'll be happy to make new appointments. Okay. And in addition, of course, many of our patients that are seen by their physician there they may walk across the street and have their eyes checked at the Eye Institute and then certainly have their dental work done. And bring their animal and in. And they for bring their animal animals in here. for animal care. Now, there's one thing that I wanted to have an opportunity to talk to you about for the uh, veterans post traumatic stress syndrome. And there's a, a, an animal therapy that you're using here to we help are. our veterans. Can you tell us about that? I'd be happy to. For those neighbors that are driving by, if they saw the land next to the library, they're going to see a very large uh, paddock there. And we actually have a program that with an organization called Horse Rhythm, where we have people with post-traumatic stress disorders come to campus, and with all of our 12 horses, uh, we do horse therapy. And they may walk that animal, they may talk to the animal, they help groom the animals, but they have a very successful rate of, of improvement to those with a lot of disorders by using animals. And so we are very much involved in that program. And we try so hard to reach out to veterans. Just this last Saturday, we did a dental day for veterans where we actually serviced many, many people who came in to have their teeth repaired. We put in crowns. We did all sorts of work at no cost to the veterans in trying to help their quality of life improve. So between the horse rhythm and some of our dental and some of the Eye Institute programs, we really try to reach out to those in need and provide a service that otherwise they couldn't receive. That's great. Some of the campus is open to the public. I, I was surprised to learn, I didn't know, that your library is available Correct. for people to come and come on campus and use the medical library that you have here on campus. Yes, we certainly welcome people during the daytime hours, not evening hours. And all they have to do is come to our welcome center and tell people they want to go to the library and we certainly have a wonderful collection of medical resources and we bring the community in and let them and we have resource people that help them find articles and go online and teach them about some of the search engines so we try very hard to make sure people know that we welcome them as part of the community because we want to be part of the community. Dr. Gappinger, it's been a privilege to sit and listen about the, all the clinics that you have available, what, what Midwestern means to the community. I well, appreciate you. your time so much. I hope the community understands what an asset you, you are and that you're available. People bring their animals here. They can go to the dental clinics. There's so many things available here in the community. Most people have health insurance now, but dental insurance especially. Um, and to hear that you've taken care of 60,000 people here in the dental clinic, it's just, I'm really stunned to hear that and it's wonderful to know.